snakes are already scary at the best of times. These slippery customers give a lot of people the heebie-jeebies. But imagine if the already terrifying snakes of the world were bigger, larger, and more intense. Well, imagine no more. Evidence is coming up at ya. These are abnormally large snakes that actually exist. Number 15. Titanoboa. Okay, so we said actually exist in the video title, but we're going to bend that to actually existed. For this entry anyway, the Titanoboa. It has been extinct for a pretty long time, but this snake was a true monster. It measured around 42 feet in length and weighed around 2,500 pounds. The fossilized remains of this hellish beast have been found in Colombia and date back to 58 to 60 million years ago. It is the largest snake ever discovered, and it lived in a period of about 10 million years during what is known as the Middle to Late Paleocene Epoch. This was the epoch which immediately followed the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, which famously wiped out all the dinosaurs and a ton of other stuff. But this monster managed to rise from the ruins, and it was finally rediscovered during an expedition led by the US paleontologist Jonathan Block in 2009. In 2012, a full-scale model of the Titanoboa was displayed at Grand Central Terminal, New York City, as part of a promotion for the Smithsonian, and it showed the massive snake gulping down an entire crocodile in the way you or I might gulp down a Cheeto. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Burmese Python The Burmese Python starts its life way up in the trees, and this huge snake will stay up in the branches until it is almost fully grown, at which point it makes its way down to the ground. And that full size is absolutely enormous. When they have left the trees, they are like the green anaconda in that they spend a lot of time in the water and are considered a semi-aquatic species of snake. They live in the Asian country of Burma, which is why they are called the Burmese Python, even though Burma is not actually called Burma anymore. I guess they were too afraid to tell the snakes that they are now known as Myanmar pythons, but Myanmar is not the only place you will find these huge snakes. They are also commonly seen lurking in the Florida Everglades. This is all down to Hurricane Andrew, which blew through the state back in 1992, causing all kinds of destruction. One thing the weather system destroyed was a bunch of python breeding centers, and the snakes escaped. Now there is believed to be around 300 thousand of them, and they have gone to war with the native alligators, resulting in some crazy battles between the two reptiles, which often ends up with both winding up dead, unfortunately. Number 13. Reticulated Python the reticulated python is among the three heaviest snakes in the world, but its biggest claim to fame is that it is uh, the biggest, or at least the longest. It lives throughout Southeast Asia, in places such as India, the Philippines, Borneo, and Indonesia. This snake has long been known for its extremely bad temper. And when you consider that they can grow as long as 32 feet and weigh 320 pounds, it's not the kind of angry snake you want trouble with. However, captive breeding programs in the US have led to variants which are calmer in temperament, and so this has actually become a pretty popular snake for pet owners. Sometimes known as retics, the largest of these pythons will feed on pigs, civets, bear cats, and even primates. And yes, that includes people. There are many cases on record, even in recent times, of people being captured, constricted, and eaten by retics. In 2015, possession and transportation of reticulated pythons was banned in the USA, but the United States Association of Reptile Keepers managed to challenge the ruling based on grammatical mistakes in the original act, which made it unclear. And so in 2017, the ban was lifted. Always wise to employ someone who has a basic understanding of grammar when trying to ban stuff. Number 12. African Rock Python 
there are no venomous pythons, and the African rock python is no exception. Like most of the big snakes, it uses constriction. The way this works is that every time its prey breathes out, the snake tightens its coils a little more very patiently until the trapped animal can no longer breathe in or out, and in fact it will die of cardiac arrest rather than asphyxiation. The African rock python will eat a wide range of things, which is bad news for, well, a wide range of things. They include birds, bats, and mammals, but they will also eat dogs, goats, pigs, warthogs, bush bucks, and even crocodiles. As always, their meal will be swallowed whole. Pythons are the most primitive snakes, so meeting one of these is like a look back into the ancient past. They will have some features which belonged to their ancestor species, such as two lungs and small spurs on the lower body, which once were pelvic limbs. More modern snakes do not have these and have a more efficient single lung system. These huge snakes live in a wide range across a large part of Africa, and they are pretty fearsome them wherever they go. Number 11. Indian Python The Indian Python is a huge snake which is native to the tropical parts of the Indian subcontinent of Southeast Asia. They have a whitish to yellow color with patches of brown which range from tan to dark brown. This change in color is usually down to the different environments they find themselves in. With the pythons who live in the hill forests of western Ghats and Assam generally darker than those who live on the Deccan Plateau and the eastern Ghats. They are solitary creatures like all pythons, but they can be seen in pairs during the mating season. These pythons are also nocturnal and prefer to live on the land to the water, but they are known to be excellent climbers and are often seen hanging down from the branches of trees, which is definitely something to watch out for if you are taking an afternoon stroll in the Indian tropics. They might not spend so much time in the water as some of their cousins, but they are nevertheless excellent swimmers when they decide to take the plunge. They are known to be very lethargic snakes and extremely timid, often not even attacking when they are being attacked. Number 10. Scrub Python The Scrub Python is also known by the cool-sounding name the Amethystine Python. This species is found in Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and Australia. It is known to be one of the most popular snakes among reptile enthusiasts, who like it for its huge size and amazing coloration. It is one of the six largest snakes in the world, and it has a milky and iridescent sheen on its scales, which gives its skin the appearance of amethyst. The longest individuals ever measured from this species is a huge huge 27.9 feet, although the average size is more like 16 feet at most. They are a slimmer python, but there are reports of snakes which have been caught in the wild weighing as much as 200 pounds, but the average weight is more like 30 to 60 pounds. The biggest scrub python are always female, and the males are far shorter and skinnier, often weighing around 11 pounds. They feed on birds, bats, rats, and possums, or whatever other small mammals they can find. The largest members of the species in Australia will feed on wallabies, often attacking them near watering holes. Number 9. Yellow Anaconda the yellow anaconda might not be as big as the green anaconda, but it is still a huge snake all the same. The yellow anaconda is also known as the Paraguayan anaconda, and this boa is native to South America. The average length of the yellow anaconda is around 10 to 14 feet, but some of the largest females have been recorded at over 15 feet. They live in aquatic environments like swamps, marshes, and the banks of slow-moving rivers or streams, especially when the banks are covered with brush. They range across a pretty huge amount of land, being found around the drainage of the Paraguay River and its tributaries, through Paraguay and the Pantanal region of Bolivia, western Brazil, northeastern Argentina, and the north of Uruguay. They are also known to live in Florida, with a small community forming there from escaped bats, although it is not yet known whether these Florida anacondas are breeding yet. 
but I'm sure throwing some anacondas into the Burmese python alligator war will only add to the insanity. These anacondas are sometimes prey for jaguars, caimans, the crab-eating fox, various raptors, the green anaconda, and also humans. Number 8. Boa Constrictor the boa constrictor is a very famous huge snake, due to it being one of the most popular snakes to keep in captivity. It is also known as the red-tailed boa, and like its boa cousins and anacondas, it is mainly found in South America's tropical regions, but is also established on some Caribbean islands. They have a very distinctive pattern, and one that most people would recognize as being the classic snake look. These heavy snakes can grow to sizes that range between 3 to 13 feet. As is often the case with the big snakes, it's the females you need to worry about the most of all, since they are much bigger than the males. The largest dry skin ever deposited by a boa constrictor in captivity measured 14 feet 6 inches. At the Zoologische Stadt Lung in Munich, Germany, and that length does not include the head. So this was a pretty darn huge snake. One common feature of this snake in captivity is a wide range of colors, which have been bred into the species from rare albino boas captured in the wild. They are solitary snakes who keep to themselves, but they will attack and bite when threatened. And the bite can be very painful to humans, although unlikely dangerous. The Central American boas are known to be much more aggressive, while those of South America are considered more relaxed. Number 7. Diamondback Rattlesnake this is the first venomous snake on our list today, and it is not only venomous, but often pretty huge. It is the western diamondback rattlesnake, and it will be familiar to any of our viewers in the southwestern United States and Mexico. This dangerous snake doesn't have any constriction abilities, but it is responsible for the majority of snake bite fatalities in northern Mexico and throughout the U.S. They can be found in the states of Arizona, California, Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas, as well as the northern half of Mexico. The largest of these snakes can grow to as much as 7 feet, and unlike the boas and pythons, it's the males who are the biggest. They are a dusty color and can be hard to spot, which is better bad news, you do not want to tread on one of these by accident. The pattern on their backs is a distinctive diamond shape, and the famous tail has 2-8 to eight black bands around it, and it, of course, contains the famous rattle. If they feel threatened, they will coil up and rattle as a warning, and they are known to stand up and confront their aggressor, rather than run away. If the rattle doesn't make you run for your life, then the snake will bite, and that could be very bad news. Number 6. Papuan Carpet Python The Papuan Carpet Python gets its name from its beautiful markings which are said to resemble the pattern of an eastern carpet. The colors are beige or brown with black or gray patches, bands and stripes, and there are also variations which include bright yellow, gold, rust, and clear grays. These pythons work by constriction killing, and their prey is varied, including all kinds of small mammals and birds, and even bush-tailed possums, which they hunt by climbing trees in the forested areas they live. They live in Australia, Western New Guinea, and Papua New Guinea, and they are also popular as pets. However, their amazing skin pattern has also long made them a target for poachers, who will slaughter them for their skins, which are then sold on to people in the form of expensive bags or shoes. This is not only bad for the snakes themselves, but also for local farmers in New Guinea especially, who find their farms overrun with rats since one of their main predators is now nearly absent, which results in a lot of rat destruction of crops and other things. Number 5. Olive Python the olive python gets its name from its smooth appearance, which looks more like the skin of an olive than a reptile. This is due to a very high scale count, and it has a glass-style finish. It is also known as one of Australia's biggest snakes. It also has an olive color, although in some habitats the color can also range from reddish-brown to off-white. The belly is white and the lips pale, with pale gray or brown dots. As with most snakes, it is a carnivore and will prey on many kinds of small mammals up to the size of a rock wallaby. 
They live in rocky areas and gorges, especially if they have flowing water. They like to hide out in rocks, caves, and hollow logs, but in spite of their size, they do have some predators of their own, including feral cats and foxes. When humans encounter this snake, they often kill it after mistaking it for the highly venomous look-alike eastern brown snake. They also suffer from major habitat loss and depleted food sources due to human activity. So this snake is becoming very rare in the wild. Number 4. King Cobra the King Cobra is a seriously badass snake that deserves its global fame as one of the most recognizable snakes in the world. They are endemic to India and Southeast Asia, and are known to be the longest venomous snake in the world, with the largest on record measuring 19.2, which is longer than a stretch limo. They are seriously venomous as well, and even if their venom is not the most toxic, they are able to deliver enormous doses with their ferocious bite, making this an extremely dangerous a snake. Luckily, they tend to be shy and will avoid conflict whenever possible. They are also known as vulnerable to extinction due to habitat destruction. The King Cobra is one of the most important elements in the mythology of India, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar, and it is considered a fearsome creature by all the peoples who live near it. They are olive green with black and white bands, and they have massive heads which can be expanded to swallow their prey. It is diurnal, which means it hunts in the daytime. If threatened, it will rise up to six feet tall and bare its fangs while hissing and expanding its famous hood. It can also make a kind of growling noise, and although not an aggressive snake, it will strike if it has eggs or young. Bites are uncommon for humans, but when they do occur, death often arrives in less than 30 minutes. Number 3. Black Mamba the Black Mamba has a reputation as one of the most dangerous snakes in the entire world. It is Africa's most venomous snake, and not only that, it is also the fastest species of snake that exists today. It has become a major part of African mythology due to its fearsome and awesome power and lethal venom, and it has been blamed for tens of thousands of human deaths. These snakes are different to the King Cobra in that they are extremely aggressive and will strike multiple times, always envenomating. There's no warning shots with this snake. The venom is insanely powerful, and they have incredible accuracy. Every year, 20,000 people die in Africa from snake bites, and the black mamba is the biggest killer. The snake's skin is not exactly black, but brown. It is the inside of their mouths which gives them their name, and the mouth truly is jet black. Growing up to 14 feet long, this is a snake that deserves total respect and even fear. Number 2. Indigo Snake the eastern indigo snake is not the best-known snake in North America, but it deserves a little more recognition, we think, since this is North America's longest native snake. It also has an amazing indigo color, which is iridescent and shines a kind of purple-black. This is another unusual snake species in which the males are larger than the females. The longest ever recorded indigo snake was almost 10 feet in length and can weigh up to 11 pounds, which makes them a little lighter than the bulkier diamondback rattlers we looked at earlier. Their generic name is Trimarchon, which is ancient Greek for Lord of the Forest, which should tell you something about their regular habitat. The eastern indigo snake is neither venomous or a constrictor, so it relies on good old-fashioned brute strength and overpowering its prey. It does have one special trick, which is to grab hold of a small rodent and then bash its brains out against a rock to kill it. Captive specimens are not fed live prey, since their instinct is to kill in this extremely violent manner and can actually end up injuring the snake. They are also immune to the venom of rattlesnakes and are known to prey on venomous snakes, which is another rare attribute. They cohabit in burrows with gopher tortoises and armadillos, which must make for some pretty weird house parties. Number 1. Green Anaconda We are kicking off with the heavyweight champion of the world, the Green Anaconda. 
That's right, this is the heaviest snake out there, even if it's not the longest. That's because the green anaconda is all about girth. This is one thick snake, and that means it can swallow some prey, which is ridiculously huge. Their regular diet has a pretty wide range of animals, including fish, birds, tapirs, wild pigs, capybaras, and caimans. But they have even been known to eat jaguars. That's what you can do if you have a circumference of more than a foot and a weight of up to 550 pounds. And they use that weight to constrict their prey, which basically involves coiling around it and then squeezing the life out of it. The snake's skin is sensitive, and they read the heartbeat of their victim, waiting until it completely stops so it knows it's all good to start choking it down. They are also known to be amazing swimmers and spend practically all their life in the water, which is bad news for or anything else that spends its time in the water. Do they eat people? You better believe they do. But reports are rare, and most people know what to do when they see a green anaconda. Run. Which of these snakes would you least like to find chilling in your bathtub? Have you ever seen an abnormally large snake in real life? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.